Final category of shirts you can look for at the thrift store to flip and make money are Pearl Snap Western shirts. And this one is probably the trickiest as well. It's not as straightforward. It takes a little feel. It takes some gut instinct. But you'll get used to it as you start to check these out more and more. Um, so I've searched just Pearl Snap shirt and we're used. We're, we're by it now. We've got 57,000 results. Um, and then if, you, if you're completely new and you, and you don't know, a Pearl Snap shirt will have these snap buttons with sort of a pearl look. They're not always that color, but it's a snap up Western shirt. So we had 57,000 listed. I've got the solds up in this tab for the same search. 23,000 sold. So that's only, that's right about a 40% sell through rate. Uh, and so that is not fantastic. So don't just scoop up every pearl snap you find if you're looking for quick flips because um, the sell through is not there. And looking over here at the different brands, you'll find these in very common brands like Levi's, Lucky Brand. Um, Eli Cattleman is one you come across often and then Wrangler is probably what you're going to find the most. So I do have a couple pulled up that are brands with 100% sell through in Pearl Snaps. This first one is Salt Valley Western. We've got 257 sold and that's against 232 listed so that's a 100% sell through rate. I have sold every Salt Valley Western shirt I've ever bought. Even size small, I'll usually still pick it up. So another one with a 100% sell-through rate is Ariat Pearl Snap shirts. These are typically $30 and up shirts. We've got 104 sold. And that is going to be against 109 sold. So there are a few more listed than sold, but that's right there at 100%. And as a bonus tip, I pick up pretty much every Ariat shirt I find, whether it's Pearl Snap or not. They tend to sell really well and um, in that $30 range, even the non-Pearl Snap ones. Now, there are probably some other brands like this that are 100% or close to it in the Pearl Snaps. Uh, but they're all going to be similar to this, like low listing pool. I don't know of any where there's like a thousand sold and a thousand listed just based solely on brand. Um, where this gets tricky and it's hard to get exact numbers is with Pearl Snaps, it's really more about the keywords because we're looking for a particular looks, an aesthetic, a style, stuff's got to look cool and that'll help elevate whatever brand it might be so that it sells. Um, so here in this example, I've done the search Pearl Snap shirt Aztec. So you want to look for these Aztec patterns. It almost always involves some kind of diamond pattern and southwestern colors. Uh, and as, as you can see, a lot of them look pretty wild, pretty crazy. Some of them are still plain, but have that aesthetic as well. We've got 1,100 active, and we have 996 sold. Um, you know, but, but like I said, it, it can be very difficult to get exact numbers like this Wrangler here for 11 bucks. I don't see anything Aztec about it. Uh, but brand wise, you know, Panhandle Slim, High Noon, Rustler by Wrangler, Eli Cattleman, things like that. Um, I wouldn't buy super trashy brands, but the Aztec aesthetic will, will elevate these into a sellable a sellable item. Okay, the next one I've done is roses, Pearl Snap shirt roses. We've got 93 shirts matching that search. Uh, this Eli Cattleman is the perfect example of what I'm talking about. And I pulled it up here. Uh, so the roses are embroidered up on the shoulder area of the shirt that's called the yoke. And it also has that uh, red piping. So it just looks cool. Oh, and um, I didn't mention this before. You see that sort of unique shape on the pocket? That's called a sawtooth pocket. But um, yeah, embroidery, particularly roses, is a popular theme in pearl snaps. I think it's something to do with the rodeo. Um, you see this one has roses and skulls. I mean, obviously, you're going to want to look that up and, and possibly buy it. But 
Let's see, we've got 93 results matching our surge. We've got 95 sold, so right there at that 100% sell-through rate. Um, and, and don't limit yourself to roses. Any Anything that you see embroidered up on the yoke area, look into it, investigate it. If it's cool, it's probably something that, that could flip. Now, I want to go over in a little more detail uh, what you're going to come across most often, and that's Wrangler and Eli Cattleman. And then we can go ahead and look at some of the super high value items that are out there in Pearl Snaps that are going to be rare to come across, but you should definitely know about in case you do. Okay, so I wanted to talk about Wrangler in a little more detail because that, like I said, is absolutely what you're going to come across the most. And, you know, here's the story just Wrangler Pearl Snap shirts pre owned. We've got 17,000 listed, so that's quite a few. And we only have 7,700 sold, so that's less than a 50% sell through rate. That's not great. You're not going to be picking up every Wrangler Pearl Snap you find at a retail thrift. Uh, I would I would pick them up in other environments if I can get them just super cheap. Then sure, why not? But you know, very similar to what we saw with Pearl Snaps in general, you want to look for stuff like vintage. You want to look for the high value keywords like Aztec, color block, big bold patterns, stuff that just looks cool. So like here's an Aztec one that went for thirty bucks. Wrangler Rancher is a line it's a different label there's a bunch of different labels and you can see the prices here you know they're just not that great here's another aztec one i think we saw in the aztec search as well and here we go vintage 90s like pretty cool looking stripes that type of stuff you can pick up but for the most part um i leave behind a lot of the Wrangler pearl snaps that I come across. It's just not um, the the sales velocity and the prices just often are not there. Here's one here, extra long tails. That will be on the the tag, and it's it's you know it's like a it's kind of like an XLT. It's an extra long shirt. Those sell at a little faster clip, but still not a hundred percent. And even if you filter this search for like XXL and up, you're still not at 100% sell through. Um, so just be very careful with Wrangler. I've definitely sold Wrangler Pearl Snaps before. You know, something like this that's just wild and crazy looking. Or like this one here. This would be a no brainer, obvious pickup. Whereas this one below it, you're going to leave behind. You know, so Wrangler. This takes a lot of experience and a lot of feel and an eye for, for where the money is. It's not something you want to grab just all over the place. There's a lot of just very humdrum, plain Wrangler shirts. And sure, some of them sell. But if you're looking to flip stuff quickly, um, it's just not going to be in our wheelhouse. But, but keep an eye out for the vintage stuff and the really cool looking stuff like this one. It's half one color. It's half striped. That's cool. Here's a vintage one with a cool pattern, you know. That's what you basically want to find in Wrangler um, to get the quicker flip and the better prices. Let's also take a look at Eli Cattleman. Uh, this is what I come across probably the next most often. Uh, we've got 3,200 active listings. How are we doing on solds? 1500 sold so you know right around that 50% sell through rate again and uh, again just not a strong pickup on a regular basis uh, Eli Cattleman is probably what I find the roses in most often so you want to look for embroidery you want to look for cool patterns you want to look for vintage stuff that is also uh, cool not just just plain um, like this, it's got guitars embroidered up on the yoke. That's a no-brainer. Uh, but this is just a plain plaid, and they got seven and a half bucks for it plus shipping. You know, plain plaid, low money, low money, low money. Not a fast seller, 
So most of the time you're going to pass on Eli Cattleman. If there's something unique about it, then it's probably worth grabbing. Um, I found one recently that had like uh, this whole bib that snapped on on the front. That sold within a couple days. So just, you know, use your eye. Uh, it's hard to look up exact comps uh, other outside of just the brand and the size and stuff like that. But it's, um, you know, the plain ones you probably want to leave behind. Or similar to Wrangler, like I said, if I'm in a different environment, I'm at a yard sale, someone has 10 of them and I can get them all for a buck each or whatever, I'll probably pick them up. Uh, but just to show you how weak this is, they have a, a big man label. The label is say big man, so like big and tall sizes, like 4XL, uh, 3XL, you know, XLT type of stuff. And even in the giant sizes that usually sell uh, a lot better, we've got 79 solds. And let's check out the actives with the big man keyword. 591 so the sales velocity just isn't there so when you come across Wrangler and Eli Cattleman you need to be super careful uh, now I said I would show you some of the the higher value bolo type items as well so I've got the sold results up very generically pearl snap shirt and I just filtered highest price and here you see we've got polo Ralph Lauren it's a leather shirt and it's a pearl snap huge money Dixon, we talked about that brand in the flannel section as a bolo. They have pearl snaps as well. Big money. Polo Ralph Lauren with a cool graphic on it and it's denim, of course. Gray goat suede, so unique material, vintage, pearl snap, Ralph Lauren, all day long. Uh, D Squared is a, a very high-end kind of Western brand you can get good money for. There's probably less than a dozen of those active right now. Howler Brothers, Hal Bros, uh, the Gaucho we talked about in the fishing area. And you will see crossover with this too. Like I've seen Columbia PFG uh, shirts that are Pearl Snap as well. I've seen Sims fishing shirts that are Pearl Snap as well. You know, those are going to be pickups. Double RL is a label you should know if you're thrifting. Uh, it's something that you can grab basically anything in that label. It's a Ralph Lauren brand. Uh, it's Western influenced and it's very high end. Like the stuff new is five and six hundred dollars. So I, I buy anything in that label. So certainly the Pearl Snaps. Yeah, you're going to pick them up. Uh, this is a good example. Ironheart. Never heard of it. Somebody got 280 bucks for one. But if I came across this brand in the thrift store, even though I've never heard of it because it's a pearl snap, I would stop and look it up. And that's what we, that's the knowledge we want is like, oh, this is a type of shirt I should investigate. And then you'll, you'll see the comps and know that you should pick it up. Denim and Supply is another Ralph Lauren subline. It's no longer around. It was also kind of Western inspired, uh, Western boho kind of mix. A lot of denim looks in there. Uh, the pearl snaps go for huge money, you know. Um, here's another Ralph Lauren pearl snap. It has a crazy embroidery on it. Sure, pick that up. Double RL, more denim and supply. A lot of double, double RL on the high end of the solds here. You know, here's a Ralph Lauren. It's just a crazy pattern. Yeah, obviously you're, you're going to pick that up, so... Um, those are the types of things to look for. Uh, other vintage ones that are cool, you know, investigate, probably pick them up if you find a nice vintage pearl snap uh, that, that has something cool about it. Like that's a really cool look right there on this vintage H bar C. You know, this Ralph Lauren with color blocking. Yeah, absolutely. And look at this denim and supply. You don't need to tell me, you don't... <laughs> You don't need me to tell you to buy something like that, right? That's an obvious pickup. So there can be some really good money in Pearl Snaps. I've flipped a ton of them. You just need to be careful with the real common brands uh, where the sell-through is just not there. But when you see Pearl Snaps, you definitely want to stop and investigate and check them out.